Hello folks, Double Tap here and welcome back to the channel. We are doing a review today. It's a British MRE 24 hour ration pack. This one, I've got absolutely no idea what is in it. It was sent to me by one of the subscribers, Chad Lennon, and I'd like to thank him for that. So, let's have a look around the box, what we've got here. 24 hour ration, ration to combat 24 hours, so that's in French. Uh, this is one of multiple choice suitable for use on ops. Please take time to complete the questionnaire. Ministry of Defence, D, E and S. Oh. Nutritional data. The 24-hour ORP has been carefully designed to ensure well-balanced and well met of all your nutritional requirements. Contains minimum of 4,000 calories. Okay, content should be breakfast, uh, cold drink, okay, okay, if you want to read all that, obviously, just give the video a little pause. Uh, MOD, kind of the property of the MOD, ah, uh, here we go, ration pack number two, okay, <laughs> still don't mean a lot to me, got the target on the back, so... Let's get it open and have a little look what's inside. Now, you might have noticed I have changed what I am doing this on. Obviously, I'm on about this table. So, this camera, I've literally got the tripod. It's touching my chin. That's how close the bloody thing is. <laughs> so, if I'm moving around a little bit, it's because... <coughs> and not talking it's because I'm trying to dodge this this tripod without knocking the bloody camera so okay looks like we've got a beverage pack we'll have a look at that in a minute <clears throat> okay beverage powder type orange okay we have some good old-fashioned tissues cereal bar caramel flavor okay we're going to go more in depth into all of this packaging and all of this contents as the video goes on. Generally with the the British one, because the 24 hour, you can't do it all in one go. It would take too long. There's no way I could eat it all. There's just way too much food. So as with all the other videos, I'm going to piece them out into sections, breakfast, lunch and the evening meal. And we'll do it that way. When I do that, I'll go more into what the actual things are. This is just a brief overview at the minute. So we have a fruit flavoured energy drink and it's lemon. Lovely jubbler. Black currant beverage. Okay. There's a, there's a lot of drinks in these now, isn't that bloody armour? Okay, we've got apple. What are these? These are nut walker peanuts honey flavour. And they're kosher. Ah, okay. We have, oh God, the dreaded biscuits. Oh my, I haven't had good experiences with British biscuits from Russian packs in the past. I really haven't. Okay, we have a hot chocolate drink. Orange flavour. Right. What have we got here? Tuna, lime and pepper. Oh. Okay. It's a bit different. Potato and leek soup. Right. We have an all day breakfast. Okay. What have we got here? Ah, boiled sweets. And they are blackcurrant flavour. We have a little bottle of Tabasco. Now you might see my hands like wobbling a little bit. It's because I've got them. My knees are high in the air. I'm, I'm on my tiptoes here. Because I'm trying to look over the top of my camera. So if you see a bit of wobbling. I haven't cracked up or anything. And my nerves haven't been shut. But that's what. <laughs> okay. So green pepper sauce. What's the difference between the green and the red then? I don't know too much about this pepper sauce and that, to be quite honest with you. What have we here? Cheddar cheese flavoured spread. Yeah, okay. 
we have ginger pudding and ginger sauce. All right. Okay, never seen that before. Ooh, don't, I've, I've had these before and I really didn't like them. Fruit explosion mixed fruit puree. Mm, okay. And we also have ah, lamb and chickpea tagine. Right, okay. I have never ever heard of that one either. Yeah. We have a menu card. So, menu product is all day breakfast, leek and potato soup, lamb chickpea tagine, ginger pudding, tuna lime and pepper, peach, ba 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 ba. Yeah. Win. You can win. Okay, let's dump that there. Right, beverage bag. Big sealy bag. That is, so you can put all your rubbish in there. If, oh, if you've got nowhere else to put it and you're out and about, you can. Oh, God, I'm knocking the camera because I'm dropping the stuff on the floor. You can. Uh, Take it with you if you've got nowhere to chuck it away, like, you know. So we have, what are these? Creamers, okay. English breakfast tea, lovely jubbly. We have some strong mints. Strong teeth with fluor, okay, sweet menthol. Don't know what fluor is. What we've got here, instant, Dawek Burt's instant coffee. We have alcohol free anti back wipe. We have a cup of Thai food tea. Lovely. I, I love it when there's loads of tea in the ration packs. I really do. <laughs> uh, what we got? Alcohol free antibacterial wipe. We have water purification tablets. We have peppermint chewing gum. We've got how uh, many sugars? We've got four sugars. Okay, love that. Got a couple more creamers. Yep, brilliant. We have more chewing gum. Spearmint Dental V6. We've got some windproof matches and a striking stick block. Now, as always, the British ration packs don't come with heaters because all of this food here, everything can be eaten cold. It can be eaten hot, it can be eaten cold, depending on the situation. Nescafe Original Coffee. And we have a spork. Quite uh, tough these are. I, I would say the American MRE one is tougher, but this one is a very, very close second. It's sturdy as well. The only thing you'll get with this is, if you use it and wash it, they generally stain. Even though they've been put through the dishwasher or whatever, they do stain. This plastic does. Okay then, what I'm going to do is I'm going to spread it all out on here so you can have a look at it. So, we'll be back in a second. Well, there it all is. And that is a lot of food. Like it said on the box, 4,000 calories in total. There is an absolute ton there. Look at it all. God almighty. Right. We'll do what we normally do in these reviews. We will piece out, uh, let me move this down a little touch. We're going to piece out the different meals into sections. I can't zoom in because I'll be too far away from, uh, I'll be too far away from the food to reach it. So, breakfast. We're going to go with the all day breakfast for obvious reasons. With that, we will have. Uh, what will we have? What have we got? Right, we're going to have. Do you know what? We're going to have this energy drink. That would set you off for the morning. That would be brilliant, that would. We are going to go with the cereal bar. And we're going to have a tea and a coffee. So let's grab all of them and let's try that. So that is breakfast right there. Now, 
the evening, sorry, the midday meal is supposed to be leek and potato soup, lamb chick petergine and ginger pudding. I'm not going with that I, because that, that, that would be too much for me to eat. Let me move them there. I'm going with the lamb and chick petergine with the ginger pudding and ginger sauce. Yep, that'll be the pudding for that. We'll go with an apple drink. And with that, what would we have? Would we have... I'll tell you what we'd have with that. We would have the brown biscuits and cheese spread. But I don't think we're going to eat all of it for that. And we will also have another cup of tea with the chewing gum there. The evening meal, I don't know whether to have this for the breakfast as well. No, I don't know. I don't want it. Right, the evening meal is going to be the potato and leek soup, tuna and lime and peppers. We're going with the honey nuts yeah we'll go with them we have the hot chocolate drink we're going to go with that we will go with excuse me the black currant drink you're in there pal we are let's grab that that's that you're going there the sweets you'd eat them you'd put them in your pocket and just eat them throughout the day so we'll try one with all the meals i think that leaves us ah, with these. We have an orange drink. So, uh, da, 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 da. did I put? I didn't put a drink with the breakfast, did I? Yes, I did. Sorry, I put the lemon. Okay, we might. Uh, we got two for that one. Let's put that one with the lunch meal. That one's going in with the lunch. Lunch time. There you go. Let me get this over here so you can see it a bit better. And the fruit explosion. Uh, where do I want that? So that's lunch. That's evening. That one's breakfast. Hmm. I do not know. Do you know what? We've got two meals, two drinks, crackers there. Let's go with the fruit explosion. And put it. Ah, oh, I can't make my mind up. It might be the breakfast. It might be the evening. I'm going with the evening. Okay. Right. I'm going to get everything set up now, and we are going to start this breakfast menu. So, back in a second. Right then. What I've done is I've repositioned the camera so you can see it a bit better. So. I'm not knocking it all the bloody while. Let me put that there like so. Okay, so I didn't keep the camping stove. Well, I did keep it, but I didn't keep the gas bottle. And now I need to uh, get another one. So uh, we're going to use this hexamine cooker. Let's wet that over there like so and that if you've never seen one that's all it is folds out folds in you'll get a block of fuel that looks somewhat like that and you'll get a cup holder come on it'll sit on there and your canteen will go there the block will go there you light it it creates heat it warms up whatever you put on top of there. Give it time to cool down though because it will obviously get very hot. Let's get this out of the way. Got some water in there. We're going to put that there. These are the fuel tablets that I've already got that are open so I'm going to use them again. I think. That's what they look like. Just some little, you know, block things that taste like cat pee so let's put them there 
we'll grab them. <clears throat> Now I could use my lighter but I don't see any point in doing that. I think we'll use what we've actually got in the kit. Stick that there for a minute. Let's get the old striker out. Bit of rubbish. Okay. Okay, we are ready. Now, I don't know if these are fast burn matches just drop the damn thing on the floor but that's them anyway doesn't give you much stick to hold on to so just be careful with these things here we go yeah don't know if we're going to get a light off this we nah no nope. ok let's try it again Let's put that on that surface. Let's grab another one out. I should have gone with the matches, but I'm trying to keep it real, folks. <laughs> okay. Let's try it again. Yeah. These burn your fingers. Right. Do we have fire? I think we do. You're there, you're there, and you're there. Okay then, we are cooking with gas, or we are cooking with fuel. Okay. Whatever way you want to look at it, we are up and running. Right. Get that there. We don't need to be looking at that so much now. So, this is going in as a part. Let's try and get it into the middle, like that. So, let me get that out. All day breakfast. Pea, beans, water, pork, sausages, pork, water, rust, salt, rising agent, carbonates. Okay, water, such. We've got we've got quite a few E numbers in there. I mean, look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We've got seven E numbers. Okay, all allergies, including cereals, contains gluten in. Ingredients in bold. Produce of Festi Foods Limited and it's 300 grams. Is there a date on this? Okay, best before April 2018, 2018. Okay, and it was packaged on the 2nd of the 4th, 2015 at 7.47. <laughs> so it's well, give, give or take, it's a couple of months old. This this is so it's a proper oh sugar, it's a proper recent manufactured ration pack. Ooh. Okay, let's get that in there, and while that is cooking, we are going to make us some drinks. I think now. I never edit any of my videos. I pause them and stuff like that. I think it's much better for the viewer when you do stuff like that. I truly do. This is what's what the hell is this man? Okay. Okay. Yeah, I truly think it's better when you do it like that. It's better for the viewer anyway. Right, so where are our cups? Let's get a cup of tea on the go, a cup of coffee. I've also measured out now this size on here. Beyond the beaten track, fruit flavoured energy drink, flavour is lemon, best before the third month of 2019. It's 45 grams. 
Orange flavour drink, sugar, blah 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 blah. Okay. Allergies are in bold, empty, 145 gram sachet into 500 millilitres of water. Now in there, I've got 300 millilitres. Yeah. Okay. Because I like it to be a little bit stronger, to be quite honest with you. I don't like uh, weak flavoured drinks. It looks very granular, very sugary type in there. That's what it looks like anyway. So let's get it in there. Lovely job, Lee. Let's give it a stir. And we're going to let that settle for a bit while we get our English breakfast tea on the go. So, tagged tea bags, English breakfast, tagged tea bags, pour freshly boiled water, let it brew, three to five minutes, and this is from Vesti Foods as well, so. Looks like uh, they're branching out a little bit, because I don't think I've seen tea bags from Vesti Foods before. But either way, that's going in there. We will now we've only we've got four sugars, so we're only going to use two in there because I'm a two sugar person. We will use the other two, and we'll have them in our coffee. Which means we've got no sugar now for the other drinks, but I shall be providing my own, I think. Okay, we've got the creamers. That's that. Let's pour them in. Now, you might be wondering why I don't pour in the water first, but I don't like making drinks like that. I prefer putting the ingredients in first. <laughs> okay, that's just me. Right, that's all of that lot. Is the lot in there? I think it is. Let's grab our Nescaf Original, rich and full flavour. Uh, one cup serving, best before the third month of 2018. Soluble coffee. Um, okay, that's just an address in case you want to get in touch with them for whatever reason. <clears throat> oh, a bit sniffly today, I think I might have a little cold coming. So, let's get a bit of water in these. And I forgot the tissue, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the tissue that we got in the ration pack. Where are you? There you are. Okay, and let me check if that is still cooking, right, that's gone out that is, okay, so we need to put another tablet in there, and these don't last very long these tablets do they? They're proper burned down quick, these little ones. These are the ones we got in the French MRA. These are. Okay, let's put that there. <clears throat> right. I'm going to put that there and that there. Okay, the matches are good. I don't... Uh, I don't burn for very long there. Okay. That's that. Stick that back on there. Right then, let's carry on with our drinks. Do you know what? I'm going to bring that down a touch, I think. I think that might be better. Okay. Give this a little stir. Now, I brought separate ones for the 
tea and coffee because I don't like mixing the spoons. If you use the coffee spoon in the tea, being a tea drinker, I can taste that straight away and I don't really like it much. Okay. Right now, oh, are we stuck? No. There we go. That's that. I am a bit tangled up here. And I must admit, I don't like this new camera position that I'm trying for the first time today. I'm way too... Um, can I zoom that out? No. I'm way too far from this tray. I'm having to tiptoe all the time and I'm not enjoying it at all. So we might have to look into a new camera position. Right then, let's start with the two. That's what it looks like. Let me grab that because I'm on, I'm on tiptoe again. So, it don't look bad and I can smell it from here. Let's have a little smell. Yeah, I mean, it, 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 it's obviously too. <laughs> right, to give it the taste test and see what it's like. Oh, oh my God. Mm. That tastes really bitter. God. Oh. Don't know if it's the creamer. The creamer doesn't taste good. It doesn't taste good at all, that doesn't. Let me have another taste. Okay. No. That, that's, uh, that's quite honestly one of the worst cups of tea I've ever tasted. It's horrible. The, the creamer tastes horrible. The tea tastes horrible. And I can't even taste the sugar. I mean, the sugar is from Beyond the Beaten Track. The creamer is from Beyond the Beaten Track. And they are horrible. They're vile. The tea bag, that is Vesti Foods. And that is horrible also. That's bad. That lot is bad. Don't like that whatsoever. Okay, that is our little lemon drink sorted. Give her a little clean, spoon of clean, I should say. You're there, you're there. And it is quite granular at the bottom, as you can see. That, that isn't mixing. It just doesn't want to mix, that doesn't, for some reason. Might be because I have a lot less, 200 millilitres of water less. 500 millilitres is a pint. It, well, it, it's probably a bit more than a pint. So let's have a little smell. Lemon flavour this is. Yeah, very very lemony that is. You can definitely taste the lemon. Uh, smell the lemon, sorry. So let's give it a little try. This is beyond the beaten track yet again. Whoa. That is nice, but it needs more water. Definitely. I like strong I like strong drinks, but that one's too strong. <laughs> okay. Let's check the old coffee out. See if they can redeem themselves with the old Nescafe. And there it is. Quite dark in colour, but we only put two creamers in, so it's going to be quite strong anyway. Let's have a little smell. Yeah, smells like a very mild coffee. Okay then, taste test. Yeah, um, it's okay. I'm not a fan of coffee, in all honesty. I never have been, and um, it does have a bit of a bitter taste to it, that does. You can taste the sugar and the creamer, and... They don't taste as bad as what they did in the tea. But nevertheless, I don't really like that. 
don't like that at all. Um, like I said, I'm not a fan of it anyway, but it just doesn't taste very nice. No, not to me anyway. Okay, so let us have a look at this. We have a caramel cereal bar. Uh, what we've got? Best before date. Uh, blah blah blah. Okay, I can't see the best before date. Oh, uh, here it is. Right. It looks like the 16th of the 2nd, 2018. Yeah. So, store called Dry. Okay, this is made by Hergestalein. Okay. Never heard of them. Sounds uh, probably German or Austrian. Alright. Okay. So open it up and see what's what. Okay, you got the inner foil type wrapping, which a lot of companies use now to keep the product fresh. Let's move this out of the way for a minute. We'll place that down there while we get rid of that. And uh, that is what it looks like. You can see it looks like malt, malted wheat, cranberries. What flavour? Okay, it's a caramel flavour. Looks like cranberries or raisins or sultanas. You can see oats in there. Let's have a look in the middle. See what it looks like inside. That's the inside of it. Hmm, okay. Let's put that down there. Let's give it the smell test. Smells nice, smells fresh. You can definitely smell the caramel. Let's give it the taste test, see what's happening. Hmm, it's nice. You can definitely taste the caramel in it. Tastes really fresh, oaty. There's lots of different flavours coming out, obviously. The more powerful flavour is the caramel. You can definitely taste that. But uh, I think I'm going to move these over there. Let's get our chewing gum ready. Stick that there. Okay. Let's raise this up a little bit. There we go. Lovely jubbly, and my dog is moaning out. If you can hear some moaning in the background, the dog's asleep in the blanket. Yeah, okay. You want a bit of this, dear? Eh? He's looking at the food and thinking, hold on, uh, where's my bit? There you go. There you go. Good boy. Oh, yes. <laughs> right. I think. That is almost burnt out, so I'm going to get a couple of the tissues ready. I'll we'll stick them there. Let's grab this all day breakfast out. And that water is boiling hot. Okay, here we go. The packaging is really, really hot and straight away if you notice the labels ran that way but the li ow, the little tabs to open it are on the other side so could do with having the label the right way around I think right okay quite hard to open when they're wet because you tend to slip a lot but nevertheless we've got it open and that's what it looks like inside as you can see it is piping hot let's get it out and have a look okay whoa it's 
a lot of steam going on. Right, so looks like um, baked beans. We have some small sausages. We have a little omelette type of egg. Pork. We have, yeah, I think it's pork, yep. Yeah. Little pork chunks. Actually, let's have a look at the ingredients. I know we looked at it before. So pork beans 29%, pork water, sorry, water pork sausages, yeah, so they are pork sausages, they are. The little chunks are chunks of pork, yeah, and bake it, yeah, okay. Okay, so let's have a little taste. Let's go for some of the beans first on the own. Just some of the beans. Now, if you've eaten Heinz baked beans before in England, this is exactly what they look like. Let's have a little smell. Yeah, they, they smell exactly the same. Let's have a little taste. Mmm, yeah. Definitely baked beans. <laughs> oh, hold on a second. Let's try the bacon on its own. Those are the little bacon chunks. I'm going to give it the taste test because it's got the tomato sauce. It's going to just smell like the tomato sauce. So I'm going to move straight into the taste test on this one. Mmm. Nice and tender. Does taste uh, nice and fresh. Nice consistency. Let's try the pork sausage out. Mmm, yep, really nice yet again. Very soft though, them sausages are. They are very soft. Okay, let's try them all together. That's what it looks like. Looks pretty good. They taste nice as well. Mmm, yeah, not bad. Not bad at all, but what I want to do is, I want to try some of this stuff. How do you open it? Is it just a twist off? No, okay. Okay, don't want to twist off. We've got, where, hmm. Just doesn't want to break the damn thing. Okay. Two hands close to the chest and we can turn the top. <laughs> Destroying the packaging a little bit. Oh, well don't, we don't want that going into the food. Stop moaning, shock. You can have some more in a minute. Doing a video here, boy. Put a bit of this in. Is it coming out? Okay, it's very thick this stuff is. Okay. It's extremely thick. I can smell it. Let's have a little taste with some of the beans. You can't really see it. It is in there though. I put three little drops in there. Let's taste that. Mm. Now that is a totally different taste. It's a very mild taste, that Tabasco. Not really sure if I like it or not. It doesn't really taste of anything. I don't know whether I need shaking up or something to loosen it up a little bit. I don't know. Okay. Okay. And we have the chewing gum. Get this open. Spearmint flavour, dental V6, white sugar free dental chewing gum. And there they are. Okay then. Let's try that. <coughs> Yeah, it's quite nice. 
It's all right, that is. So, what we've got here? We have got a little boiled sweet. What's it say on the packaging? Black currant flavour, fruit flavoured bowl sweets, produce of Poland for Vesti Foods. Okay. Put that down there. Let's get the old boiled sweet out. Mm. Yeah, you can uh, definitely taste the black currant straight away. Definitely. Mm. It's alright that is. Not bad at all. So anyway, that is the unboxing of our British 24 hour ration pack menu number 2. We've done the breakfast, so brief overview. The tea, I don't like that. You may like it yourself, I personally don't. Same with the coffee. It um, was a little bit bitter and I just didn't like the flavour of it. The caramel bar, that is proper nice. I, I could have ate a couple of those and done without the two drinks very easily. The electrolyte drink, lemon flavour, which was another Beyond the Beaten Track one. That is really nice but I do need to add a bit more water. I skimped a bit on the water there. Tabasco. Very mild, that is. It is very mild. But, you know, you can still taste it. And it wasn't too bad. Chewing gum, very nice. Boiled sweets, very nice. And the big one is the beans with bacon, sausages. We've got a little omelette egg. I don't eat egg. That is why I haven't eaten it. So, if you want to try the egg, you'd have to get the ration pack and give it a little go. But that is really nice. Overall, it's a good little breakfast. You'd obviously drink the tea and coffee because you've got nothing else. So, you'd have to just grin and bear it. If you have a choice, I doubt very much people will drink that out of choice because they're not very nice. But other than that, it is really nice. So, I hope you'll tune in for part two, which will be the lunchtime menu, which will be posted soon on YouTube. Hope you enjoyed that one. If you did, click the like button and subscribe for more daily videos. I'm Double Tap, and bye for now.